All right, gentlemen, welcome aboard. This is Dr. Vela, and I'm going to talk you through uh, some of Antigone, which is our next major work that we are going to be covering together. Um, it is not a very long work, as you see from the slim volume that you have purchased. Um, what I'm going to do with these uh, screencasts is I'm going to talk you through parts of the play to help you to understand them because uh, sometimes plays can be a little bit difficult and certainly this is a Greek tragedy so that makes it different too um, but I think with a little bit of help you guys will understand it and really enjoy this story it's a fascinating story it's been popular for 2500 years um, and it's it's really one that uh, is great to know and experience okay so uh, the the pencil I'll be using is the Rotring Rapid Pro 0.7 millimeter. Um, it is, I think, the finest pencil made by man. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to go through just a couple important things about the um, about the play. We learn there's a useful introduction here about uh, Sophocles and a little bit about what happened um, in the time this play was composed. Okay. This is all 5th century BC in ancient Greece. So that means that uh, we're, this play in particular, oh, and here's our useful chronology right here. Um, so Sophocles was born 496 BC, so just about 500 BC. Um, and uh, Antigone, the play we're reading, was written and produced either in 443 or 441, somewhere in there, we're not sure. Um, and Sophocles died in 406. So he lived a long life, right? He lived 90 full years. Wow. Healthy, strong, Greek dude. All right. Here we go. Antigone. Okay. Here's our cast of characters. Antigone is Mene, Creon, Hymon, Tiresias, the guard, the messenger, Eurydice, and the chorus. Okay. All right, so I'm going to draw for you a very simple um, family tree because you're going to need it. All right, so Oedipus and his mother, who was also his wife, uh, it's a long story. That's another great one to read, um, but we're not doing that one this year. Oedipus and Yocasta had four children, okay? Um, the four children are... Polynices, Eteocles, okay, these are the boys. These are the, well, now they're men. Um, and then we have Antigone and Ismene, and these are the girls, okay, now women, all right? Now, what's important for you to understand is that Yocasta is also a sibling to the man in this play who is the king, Creon. Okay, so that means that Antigone is the niece of Creon. Creon is the uncle to Antigone. Creon his, himself is married to Eurydice. Okay, and they have one child um, that is Hymon. Okay, so that is a simple, um, that is a simple family tree. Uh, so. Creon is currently the ruler of the kingdom. All right, the kingdom is Thebes, uh, and he's currently the ruler. Okay, and um, these are the rest of the people are his subjects. Okay, so here we go. We start the opening of the scene. Um, it's the two sisters talking. All right, now what I'm going to be going through here is I'm not going to be reading this, um, but what I'm going to do is. Um, just kind of give you an overview of what's happening and what's taking place in the scene as a way to help you review after you've done your reading, okay? So if you haven't done it already, what you should try to do right now is read all the way up until page 7 where the chorus appears, okay? And then um, come back to this because I think it's help more helpful for you to read this, for, or read this first, then listen to my screencast, then... Um, go back and read some more, okay? I'm gonna pause this screencast and I'll start a new one.